Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. This is a community alert for the people uh, near Mount Rainier in Washington. Uh, and I'm bringing this because I don't feel that the lamestream media does a good enough job informing people, uh, nor do I trust that FEMA will alert everybody in the area. So anyway, this is from the Extinction Protocol. Link will be below. A new report from the Washington State Department of Natural Resources estimates that a volcanic mud flow known as a lahar from Mount Rainier could produce property losses of up to $6 billion to communities in the Pyelop Valley. Now we have a much better estimate for the economic impact of a major lahar flowing from Mount Rainier, said Dave Norman, Washington State geologist and manager of the DNR Geology. Geology and Earth Resources Division. It's not a question of if but when the next volcanic event will be. The DNR report, Loss Estimation Pilot Project for Lahar Hazards from Mount Rainier, Washington, is based on data about several previous Laharas from the volcano using loss estimating software developed by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The report projects pr property potential property damage costs if similar mud flows occurred again on Mount Rainier's west side as many geologists anticipate. Due to the weakened rocks that make up the upper west flank of Mount Rainier, the Payallop Valley is considered highly susceptible to lahars. Lahar-related flooding has the potential to reach as far as Commencement Bay and Elliott Bay, including ports of Seattle and Tacoma. In concert with the reports released today, DNR has produced an online interactive map that allows users to track the potential pathways of Laharas from Mount Rainier. The online map and today's report are designed to assist emergency response mitigation planning and community preparation for lahar prone areas. Mount Rainier has produced major Laharas every 500 to 1,000 years and smaller flows more frequently. The most recent Lahar to reach Puget Lowland was the electron mud flow about 600 years ago. That was more than 100 feet thick at the community of Electron and as much as 20 feet thick at Ording, Lahars which have the consistency of wet concrete can be caused by volcanic activity when an eruption of lava or hot gases melts a glacier. They can also be produced by avalanches and earthquakes. So uh, now that, that was the post. I'll link you to that. If you're in that area, please share the information. And the reason I bring it out is because we keep seeing Mount Rainier hit the headlines and now if they're estimating the cost uh, that means it's going to happen uh, they know it's going to happen and maybe they can't pinpoint the day but we are you know in that time zone of where it's maybe it's due uh, so anyway link will be below that's the information much love stay safe and uh, you know do your best to prepare because we got a lot coming at us